All right, everybody, welcome to Carol's Corner, brought to you by Flagship Cruises and Events. In the uh, Carol's Corner tonight is a young man from Helix High. His name is Michael Shawcroft. And, Coach, uh, tell us what we're going to look at early here. Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a guy that's pretty doggone big. I think we're looking at about 6'2", 220, stands out. And, you know, one of the things we got to understand as a linebacker is linebackers really do three things. They have to defend the run, make tackles, and they have to defend the pass, and they have to blitz and rush the quarterback. So we're going to we're gonna get a chance to look at him do all three of those things. All right, tell me when to stop, Coach. All right, so starting off, pass. Let's pause. Okay, so one of the things that you want to do in pa pass defense is you got to get depth. Okay, so you want to get as much possible depth as you can away from the line of scrimmage. Okay, the second thing is you have to have route awareness. Now, you can see where his eyes are right here. He's looking at these two receivers for route awareness based upon his pass coverage responsibility. And then the third thing is this guy. This guy tells you, if you look at where he is right now, you know that he is throwing the football this way, and he's going to point his shoulder in the direction that he throws. Now, so he wants to, it's called a head on a swivel. He wants to have route awareness as he gets depth and see the quarterback head on a swivel back and forth so that he can tell where the football is going to be thrown because he inevitably tells us where the ball is going. And then he's going to make a great break on the football. So let's watch. Pause. So he told us where the ball was being thrown with his eyes right there and his shoulder. And he has now got route awareness, is reading the quarterback. The ball is in the air. He has now gone from defender to receiver. And he, and he happens to play both ways. And uh, he can catch the football. Watch him extend his arms like a tight end and run with the football after the catch. Pretty impressive. All right, so that's Great him as a, as a defender. What we, we have next here is as well it, you know it, th this is it's going to start pass coverage and it's quickly going to move into a run type situation screen awareness yeah so so um right now on the snap of the ball he's going to go in motion which eliminates his need to worry about route awareness here so it puts just one receiver on this side of the ball let's go ahead and pause it as we get closer to that and pause so right now we have two receivers here two running backs in the backfield, one receiver here. He's going to check back to receiver, and every draw and every screen have what are called tells. Some little giveaway that tells us this is not a normal pass play. He's going to find that tell real quick, real quick and then see how fast he attacks it. So high hats, pause. So we get pass. Offensive lineman showing high hats, that means that it's pass. So he starts in his pass drop, but this running back has done something odd. He has started to this side, comes back this way. That tells him everything he needs to know. It's a screen. And now, look at, look at that. Now you attack a screen, you don't wait. You don't attack linemen. You run through linemen, run by linemen. Great closing speed. Great acceleration into the hit, great foot drive, great explosive hips. That's a guy that can bring it. All right, and our third example here, Coach, I believe will be as, hang on a second, as a, as a pass rusher, he's right here on yeah, the Yeah, look at that stance. Look at, he's, he looks like he's cocked and loaded, and it's a sprinter stance from a two-point. From standing up, he's ready to go. And he's going he's gonna to be shot out of a cannon right now. And what's going to happen in this protection is they're going to slide or shuffle their protection. So he's going to move over one man, he's going to move over one man, and he's got to move over one man. He needs to get depth. He doesn't quite get enough depth. But as he attacks, the goal of any edge rush is to get to the shoulder pad and turn the shoulders and the feet of the tackle. Let's watch how he does it and get ready to pause. And pause. Right now, that's perfect. He's turned just by his speed and his lack of depth. He's turned his feet. He's turned his shoulders. And you want to make yourself small. Don't give up your chest. You want to turn your shoulder, rip, throw the arm up and underneath, the armpit right here, get his hands off you, and then we call it running the hoop. 
okay, and running the hoop, they have these hoops, and you practice running them and dropping your shoulder pad and, and running full speed. Watch how he runs full speed, changes direction, flattens out. Actually, I think tried to strip the ball as well. That's a fantastic right. guy. Watch oh, that. The tackle's yelling, look out! Look at that, look at that. Yeah, look out. That's <laughs> look, a look out block. Look out block. All right, so that's why Rocky Long wants him to play on his defensive unit. At yeah, and I don't blame him. That guy can play. You saw he could do all three of those things. All right, Michael Shawcroft in Carroll's Corner. We'll be back next week. We'll see you then.